All right, so what the fuck's popping with it, everybody? It's your boy, Eat That Pussy 445, coming at y'all niggas, man. Week 16, Eagles and Bears, primetime game, primetime TV, man. It's going to fuck down on Sunday night, nigga, you heard? Um, basically, you guys already know how this playoff picture bullshit works. So I'm going to give you motherfuckers a quick rundown on what the fuck needs to happen, even though half you niggas already know the whole situation here, okay? So... Cowboys and Redskins, these motherfuckers play 1 o'clock, okay? 1 o'clock, uh, Dallas is going to Washington, okay? Basically, if Washington beats the Cowboys, okay? If Washington beats Dallas, which I don't, which I don't the fuck see happening, but if they do, we can clinch the division later on tonight by beating the Chicago Bears, okay? Now... If the Dallas Cowboys beat the Washington Redskins, in some niggas' opinions and in some niggas' eyes, that Chicago Bear game, that Chicago Bears game don't mean shit. Because when it's all said and done, it's gonna be a fucking duel out there in Arlington, Texas, come week 17, where if we play the Cowboys with the division on the line, with a playoff spot up on the line, okay? We all know that shit. So Oh, and by the way, some stupid motherfucker, right? I was listening to uh, the press conference. Some stupid-ass nigga gonna sit back and ask Chip Kelly, well, if the Dallas Cowboys beat the Redskins, will you rest your starters because that game will basically be pointless? Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no, nigga. We ain't resting no motherfucking starters up in here. I understand that niggas want to sit back and, you know, well, you don't want to risk injury. Nigga, it's all about momentum, okay? And I'm going to tell I'm going to be the first motherfucker to tell you this right now. If we go on a two-game fucking losing streak going into Dallas, am I confident? Oh, fuck no. Okay? I ain't confident in this motherfucking team as, as it the fuck is, you know what I'm saying? But regardless, nigga, you do have to give it up to Chip Kelly for a successful fucking season, no matter what the hell happens, okay? I'm not afraid to admit that, Chip Kelly. You have made this fucking season a success, motherfucker. Motherfucker, you made it a goddamn success, nigga, when you beat the fucking Packers, nigga, and we went 5-5. Five and five. The motherfucking season was already a success. You got over four wins. A fucking improvement from last year. Now, I don't mean to get thrown off track. I'm sorry. Um, but basically, that, that's the whole scenario. Um, Dallas beat Washington um, week 17. Well, the Bears game, in some niggas' opinion, is fucking pointless. I don't see the shit being pointless. Um, Washington beats Dallas. We win. We beat Chicago. We clinch, and we the fuck in. Now, let's jump on into this Bears game. Jay Cutler. I think Jay Cutler's a fucking beast. I've always been a fan of Jay Cutler. I like Jay Cutler, okay? Turnover motherfucking machine, man. So, last week versus the Browns, that motherfucker threw two picks. I believe one of them was Joe Hayden and one of them was a linebacker. Correct me if I'm fucking wrong. I ain't see that shit. Um, I tell you this. I think it's going to be a shootout. I really do. You got two trash-ass defenses going at it. You know, um, Bears defense is fucking garbage. Our defense is fucking garbage. Um, just fucking straight-out fucking trash. You know, um, look for the running backs to have one. Well, look for Jay Cutler to be passing the fucking ball all over us. Okay, because we have... A top 10 run defense, okay? I, be I believe we have a top 10 run defense, okay? Now, I was looking on Eagles Live, and the Chicago Bears, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? i seen a stat that the Chicago Bears is ranked 32nd in rushing defense. Chip Kelly, after you just heard that, motherfucker, if you come out here throwing the goddamn ball 50 times like you did last week, 
Please believe I will chew your motherfucking ass out. The Chicago Bears defense, run defense, is ranked dead last at 32nd. We better give Shady, Shady McCoy the ball at least 35 to 40 fucking times. I'll put it to you like this, nigga. Oh, 35 to 40 times? Nigga, that's great. Okay, fuck it then. Give LaShawn McCoy the ball 30 times. Give fucking, uh, what's that nigga's name? What's that motherfucker's name? Uh, Bryce Brown. Give Bryce Brown the ball another 10 to 15 times. I know I started like, fuck who gives a damn. I want us to run, 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 and run it down these motherfuckers' throats, okay? That should be the game plan, nigga. I do, want, I do not want Nick Foles throwing the motherfucking football no more than 25 times this game. Okay? Run it down those motherfuckers' throats, my nigga, okay? And by the way, Chip Kelly, Dave Fipp, special teams coordinator. Okay, last week you were doing pop up and pop ups and stupid fucking squib kicks because you were afraid of Cordell motherfucking Patterson that looked like he got a fucking shit turd hook up in the back of his helmet. Looked like he could use that motherfucker as a dildo and plug it up somebody's fucking ass crack. You better not be on that fucking bullshit this week, nigga, because this week we go up against another fucking prolific kick returner in Devin motherfucking Hester, okay? Of course, you guys know Devin Hester up in that 2006 Super Bowl when he returned that shit, first play of the Super Bowl. That's when they had Sexy Rexy. That's gay as fuck, I know, nigga. It's fucking gay as fuck. Uh, that's when the Bears had Rex fucking Grossman and Kyle Orton. Anyways... Um, can we win this game? Yeah, we can. Fuck yeah, we can. Will we win this game? Oh, fuck no. I, I don't see us winning this fucking game, to be honest with you. Um, I know some niggas, oh, negative, bitch, you're not a real fan. Fuck you, nigga, okay? Just because I say I don't think that we're going to fucking win, don't make me a fucking fake-ass fan, nigga, okay? So you getting the game real fucked up. I know, I know this one motherfucker on Twitter called me a bandwagon. Bandwagon, nigga? Bandwagon? Motherfucker, let me tell you something. For all you fucking bitches on Twitter that want to call me bandwagon, nigga, let me the fuck tell you something, nigga. You, you, nigga, you see me? You, nigga, you see my fucking... You see my fucking hair. I'm surprised my hairline isn't the fuck back here. I've been stressing out and I've been fucking losing my mind about this motherfucking team. Oh, yeah, nigga, I'm negative as fuck when it comes down to this team, okay? Nigga, I'm negative. Negative! I'm negative, nigga, okay? But rest the fucking short. Rest assured, nigga, when this fucking camera ain't on, I'm over here looking up stats and shit. Motherfucking eyes is red as fuck. I'm not going to sleep until four in the fucking morning trying to think of a game plan on how we gonna beat these motherfuckers. Week after week after fucking week, man. So... And by the way, how can I be a bandwagon of a team that ain't done shit? Ain't one shit in 55, 60, damn this 70 fucking years. I'm bandwagon, motherfucker. Kiss my fucking ass, nigga. Okay? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, nigga, you already know, nigga. I keep it 100 with y'all motherfuckers, okay? All Sean Jeffrey, I believe, is the best wide receiver on the Bears team. Depends on how we play him. And the way this fucking secondary played last week versus the Vikings, all Sean Jeffrey is going to fucking molest our motherfucking secondary. I don't give a fuck who's sticking him. It's just going to have to be a shootout, nigga, because all Sean Jeffrey is going to fuck our defense in the ass, nigga. That dude's a fucking monster. And I don't think we have not one motherfucker on our defense 
that can cover him. Kerry Williams, fuck no. Rock Carmichael, he's a tall nigga, fuck no. Uh, Bradley Fletcher, fuck no. And trust me, nigga, this game will be a motherfucking shootout because you already know how crazy ass Jay Cutler gunslinging motherfucker. He kind of reminds me of Brett Favre, where he where he just loves to just toss that fucking shit up. I remember versus the Browns, he just heaved that motherfucker up there. You know what I'm saying? So, to be honest with you guys, I I, I don't fucking see us win winning this game. It's a winnable game. It's winnable. But in the end, I don't the fuck see it happening. Um, let's keep it 100 here. Dallas isn't losing to Washington. I can fucking guarantee you that. Oh, Tony Romo suck, nigga. Dallas is not losing to fucking Washington. I know Washington fucking sucks. They're 4 and what? 4 and 11? 4 and... Ten somewhere around, and nigga, they're not fucking losing, dude. Dallas is not fucking losing to Washington, so the shit's gonna come down to week seventeen. Okay, um, let me know what you guys think. It's your boy, eat that pussy four four five. Checking the fuck one up out of here. Y'all have a good one. Um, shout out to everybody. Nitro Freak, Pistol Two One Third. My man, Ryan. Oh, by the way, um, when I was doing my birthday shout-out video, shout-out to my man, Fernando. You guys see the eagle flag back here? That one right there. You know, oh, that's my Cunningham shit. This eagle's flag back there up on the wall. Shout-out to him, man. He got this eagle flag for me for my birthday also. Kind of forgot to mention him. Even though I mentioned it had been an annotation, I still want to. Give him a shout out. So shout out to him. Shout out to my man Ryan up in the Ryan up in the NH out there in New England. Shout out to my man Keith Howard, Damon 089. Um it! Uh let's see. Philly fan for life 17. Eagle fan for life 17. Nitro Freak. Tyson Your King is here. Simus, my nigga J Wad. Desert Coffin. Oh, shout out to my nigga the drunken tailgater, man. He, he's a Bears fan. I forgot about him. Um, the only two Bears fan I know is the Drunken Tailgater and Dan Connor from fucking Roseanne. Till next time. Y'all have a good one. And peace out.